Hello everyone. Today I welcome you all to my another video session wherein we will be discussing the concept of using Excel as database using Automation Anywhere A360 version. So before we start our session for the day, I request every one of you to please subscribe to my YouTube channel and hit the notification icon so that you receive all the latest updates and notifications that we keep posting on our YouTube channel. One more information that I want that I want to give over here is that if you are beginner to robotics process automation then you can refer to the book link which I will be sharing in the description section below which every beginner will find it very useful to start their career in RPA or robotics process automation. So without any further delay let us start our session for the day. So in order to create your bot, first of all you have to log into your automation anywhere using your bot creator credentials. The next thing that you have to do after logging into automation anywhere is, is to click on the automation tab. So once you click on the automation tab, then the, then the next step that you need to perform or follow is to click on create new and then the task bot option. And over here we will define the name to our task bot as Excel as database example and then click on create and edit. So once you click on create and edit the workspace area will be opened where you will have to design your actions as per your requirement. So over here uh, in order to use Excel as database so from the database command or from the database spec you have to drag and drop the connect action. So drag and drop the connect action. So in the property session give the name of the session as Excel database. And then in the connection mode uh, in the connection mode drop down select the uh, mode as default. And over here we will be entering the connection string. So in order to enter the connection string, we have taken the connection string over here. So our uh, our uh, connection string would look like something like this. First of all, we will have to provide the provider name. Then the data source uh, that is the Excel file that which we have to use in our bot or task bot. And then the extended properties equal to Excel 12.0, XML and headers if you have headers in your excel then you can mention is a header equal to yes so we will copy this uh, connection string and we will paste the connection string over here and then we will click on the save button so once you click on the save button the next thing that you have to do is to write the query in order to retrieve the data from the excel file so in order to retrieve the data from the excel file drag and drop the read from action and then in the session name give the same session name that you have used in the connect query or the connect action. So over here we will be passing the same session name and over here we will be writing the query as select star from and then we will pass the sheet name or the database table name which we have. So over here we will pass double dollar because single dollar will refer to the variable and uh, over here we have passed the sheet name as loans since the uh, sheet name that is present over uh, in my excel file is the loans sheet. So once you write the query then click on the save button. Now in order to print the value we will use the loop action. So from the loop package drag and drop the loop action. So over here in the property section in the iterator tab select uh, select the iterator as for each row in SQL query data set and give the same session name that is Excel database that we have used in the first connect action and create a variable to store the data in the to store the data in a record variable data type. So we will keep the same name that is created by default that is SQL dataset row and then click on create and select and then click on the save button. The next thing that we need to do is to uh, print the message. 
so in order to print the value you need to print the uh, so you need to drag and drop the message box action inside the loop and from over here select the uh, record variable or row row variable that you created so we uh, so we use the sql dataset row as the row variable and i will be using over here as by index that is zero you can also use uh, by name also and pass in the column name over there and then we will click over here as yes insert and then click on the save button and then what we will do is at the last step that we need to do is to use the destinate action from the database so this will destinate from the database that uh, so this will destinate the session that we used or that we created in the uh, connect action so pass in the same session name that is excel database and then click on save so now in order to see that the actions that we have created are performing to our expectation or not so we will run the bot so in order to run the bot click on the run button so once you click on the run button the bot agent service would be invoked and all the dependencies and packages which are used in the bot will be downloaded and once the dependencies and packages are downloaded the bot will start to execute on the system on which you are running the bot so let us wait for the bot to download the dependencies and start its execution so the bot has started its execution and now it will print the values of first column that is account number column one by one in the message box so this is the first account number that it has printed this is the second and this is the third so this is how you can print the values of uh, each row one by one using excel as database uh, command so in the next part we will see how to insert the data or update the data in the excel so in this section we will see how to insert the data into the database using the insert update or delete query so drag and drop this insert update delete in the database package and over here give the same session name that we have used in the connect action that is hls database and we will write the query to insert the data into the database so insert into loans the sheet uh, or the data data database name for our uh, case is loans uh, so we will use insert into loans and we will use double dollar and then we will pass in the column name that is so first column that first value that we will be inserting into the column is account number so we will pass over here the column name as account number the next uh, value that we will be inserting in the next column is the bank so for now we will insert these two values and over here we will write values and then we will use small bracket and we will pass in the account number as we will copy this value and we will pass it over here bank we can pass it as So this is the insert statement that we will be using in order to insert the data into the database. So now let us run again this code in order to see that the actions that we have built is performing to our expectation or not. So again click on the run button in order to run the bot. So 
so it will download the dependencies once you click on the run button and once the dependencies are downloaded it will start to execute the bot so it is uh, downloading the dependencies and it has started to execute so that so the data has been inserted into into the database so now let us go and check whether the specified values has been inserted or not so our database or our source of data was this excel file that is input sheet so now let us go and check whether the values that we gave for account number and bank has been inserted or not so if you see the values has been inserted so we gave this account number and the bank as hdfc so it has inserted the data into this database so this is how you can insert the data into the database using the insert update or delete it from the database package so the next action that we will be seeing is to use how to use the export to data table command or action under the database package in this part or in this section you will see how to use the export to data table command or action so drag and drop export to data table action from the from the database package and over here pass in the same session name that is excel as database session that we created in the connect command so over here give the same session name and over here we will pass the select query that is select star from and then we will pass in the database name so our database name is loans sheet and over here we will a variable of type data table so we source data table and then we will click on create and select and then we will click on the save button so now in order to loop through this data table enable this uh, enable the disable section that is the loop action and over here just change the loop uh, loop properties that is in the loop properties we will use for each row in table and then we'll pass in the table name that is v source data table and then we'll create a record variable that is table row which is already created so click on the save action or save button in order to save the bot so in order to print the value from the data table pass in the data table variable name so select from this drop down that is the table variable name or instead of table variable name you can use the uh, table row and then over here pass in the index that is uh, zero and then uh, instead of zero this time let us give the index as one and then click on the save button so now we will run the bot in order to see that is in order to see whether the actions that we have built are performing to our expectation or not so click on the run button to run the bot and the bot services or bot agent will be invoked and it will start to download the dependencies with which has been used in the bot and it will start its execution so let us wait for the bot to start its execution so the bot has started to run and it will now export the data to the data table variable and then it will print the values of the bank column one by one so the first value that uh, is there is SBI in the bank field or the bank column the next value is PNB then the I then ICICI and then HDFC so this is how you can use export to data table and then print the values of the uh, record variable or row variable one by one using the loop action so the next action or the next command that we will use 
or C is the begin database transaction and end database transaction. So the begin database transaction is used when uh, when the start database transaction is used to commit all the database actions till the end database transaction. And the actions that are inserted between this begin and end transaction are treated as a cell unit. So let us drag and drop this begin database transaction. And also we will use the end database transaction. So over here uh, till over here we will use it. So the actions which are present in between this will be treated as one single bit of actions. So now let us uh, run the bot again in order to see what happens when we use the begin database transaction and end database transaction. So as for now I will not be able to show you the run of the begin database transaction and end database transaction action as it is currently not supported with the ODBC connectivity. But for sure in the next video I will be showing you the uh, actions of begin database transaction and end database transaction with the normal SQL database. So that we have come to the end of our video discussion wherein we saw how to use Excel as database action Excel as database uh, using automation anywhere A360. So if you have any queries regarding this video then you can raise your queries in the comment section and I will be more than happy to answer all your queries. Before we wind up our session for the day, I request every one of you to please subscribe to my YouTube channel and hit the notification icon so that you can uh, so that you can receive all the latest updates and notifications that we keep posting on our YouTube channel. Thank you all and have a great day.